And it is official tonight. Home buyers and sellers are in a frenzy of activity. Last month, sales of existing homes hit their highest point in six and a half years. A 30-year fixed mortgage is down to 4.42%. So is this the last chance to get in on the lower prices and the house you've always wanted? ABC's chief business correspondent, Rebecca Jarvis. The amazing race. Home buyers and sellers across the country desperate to get deals done before rates rise again. In New Orleans, Megan Girk forced to make an offer on this home before her husband even got a look. I saw it for three minutes. There were 60 people looking at it. It was pretty crazy. In Boston, Dave Correct. Seymour flipping no homes in less than 24 hours. If I sell it 300000 I want to make 60000 on this. And in San Diego, the Robinsons uh, on a charm offensive. We said we could pose Ella outside of the house and make puppy dog eyes at everybody else who came to view it. Just look at this typical American home. In May, the monthly mortgage would have cost $887, but today it's over 1000 nearly $2,000 more a year, and a total of almost $60,000 more for the same home simply because mortgage rates have gone up. There isn't going to be a perfect moment. So basically, if you can afford it, and it's actually a place you don't mind being in for a few years, then you don't need to know much more. For Megan and Jeremy Girk, the risk was worth the reward. What's the first thing your husband said when he walked into the house? He said, I love it. You were right. Yay! <laughs> So how long will this dip in rates last? Well, tonight we pulled a number of analysts who say they expect the window of opportunity to close in about three months, and they don't think rates will go much lower than they are today. So, Diane, lock it in now. About three months. Three months. Okay, thank you, Rebecca.